So that's what a uh, digested rabbit looks like. You have got to be my messiest snake ever. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Will Nace here. Today, well, I'm not gonna show cleaning these lovely cages, but today we have to feed the King Cobra again. But I gotta clean both their cages out, so we're gonna take the King out, we're gonna give him a quick little soaking, and then we're gonna feed that bad boy. All right guys, so I just cleaned, what's up buddy? I just cleaned out the entire berm cage, disinfected it. Um, I did that with all my cages this week. I ran out of mulch, I had to get more for these two. But uh, yeah, so berm's all nice and clean now, nice new fresh water. Uh, he just digested that meal. How are you still hungry? How are you still hungry? You're not allowed to bite me there. You're not allowed to bite me there. So yeah, so he is going back in his cage now. He might still have poop on the bottom of his uh, stomach there. <sighs> Just rub it all over me. But yeah, so we're gonna uh, do the same thing to the king. I gotta pull him out. There you go, buddy. Uh. All right, so I gotta pull the king out. Uh, today is a very exciting day because not only am I pulling him out, but I'm gonna soak him, I'm gonna feed him, and may or may not finally be removing some of the paper on his cage to get him more used to me. So right now I'm spraying uh, chlorhexidine in the garbage can. Uh, this is something I typically do between each snake. It's a nice disinfectant, it kills pretty much everything. Uh, so I'm doing this between the berm and the king. I will be also adding uh, probably about three or four gallons of water to this after I get it nice and cleaned out. So why he is in there, why I'm cleaning the cage, he does get a nice drink, sip, bath, whatever you wanna call it, of water. So I'm gonna clean this out, then we're gonna fill it up with water, nice uh, warm temperature, and then uh, pull him out, see how it goes. He is doing a lot better for me. Um, I'm really excited that he ate a frozen thawed snake for me last time. So I'm hoping this time I have another frozen thawed snake for him. Now where is he? But the one he is getting, oh, I think he's on this side actually. The one he is getting today, oh, I can't even actually see him. So the one he's getting today is a mangrove viper, or a mangrove snake, I should say, not a viper. I don't know why I said viper. He's not in there, so he's gotta be in the other hide. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling stuff out of here. So I am deep cleaning his cage because he definitely did use the bathroom since we fed him last. I'm surprised he hasn't come out yet. water and everything. So I'm truly in love with this king. I'm very happy I did get him. Um, again, he was pretty much a rescue because this dude was on death's doorstep. All right, so I'm gonna slide this side open now. So he's actually inside, come here. Come here. I know you guys are a little scared. Don't worry, I am too. So he's inside that one right now. So this isn't gonna go smoothly. It never does. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys that this is the best King Cobra in the world, cause he's not. Um, you know, I might drop him or something like that because he is still a wild caught king and he is aggressive. There he is. So he is an Indo king for those of you guys that don't know. 
he's not a Malaysian King Cobra. The baby I have is a Malaysian King Cobra. What's up, buddy? You want to come take a bath? So if I'm not mistaken, he actually looks like he might be going into shed again, which is awesome because that means the scar on his head, um, the two spots on his head right on the front of his face and on the top of his head uh, will be getting smaller. So it's a very good sign. That means he's healing, but that also means he's growing. Hey, buddy. You're okay. So because he's in shed, he's very sensitive right now. So you see every time I touch him with the hook, he spins around to where I am touching him. Can I have your tail? Let me just get your tail. So I'm trying to do this very calmly, show him I am not a threat. As you see, he's doing his little bluff charges towards me. Trying not to move when he does do that. You're okay. Don't shit. Don't poop. Don't poop. Oh, I hear it working up. I hear it working up. Come here. Look at this guy. He is so awesome. You want to go in the trash can? You want to go in the trash can? Are you like Lilith? You don't like feet? <laughs> so I'm doing everything I can to possibly stay calm with this guy. Bro, okay, that was not, <laughs> that was not calm. He got a little close to me there. Yes, I dropped him. I know that looks horrible, but I'm gonna leave that in there because this is the truth about keeping venomous snakes, especially ones that can kill you. He's, his head touched my arm. Doesn't mean I'm a bad keeper. Doesn't mean anything other than the fact that I don't wanna drop him for one. So uh, a lot of people have been asking me to do more stuff on this true cobra video that I did do that was very short, but did answer a lot of people's questions. Um, so king cobras are not true cobras, one, because of their name, like I said in the video, but two, because these guys eat other snakes, what are you doing? Whew. So I am shaking right now. I love this snake, but he is scary. No, 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 no. So yeah, because these guys are snake eaters, um, the Ophagus part of their name, I believe it is, uh, is what means snake eater. And also, a lot of the scientific names are done off of the scale count on certain snakes. So king cobras, they actually have on the back of their head, they have two scales. They're a lot bigger than most other cobras. That's where the name king comes from because it looks, I believe it's called a crown scale, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. He's so awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and get him in the water. You're okay, you're okay. So he's in the water now. I'm gonna go ahead and pull his cage cart up there. I'm gonna pull his cage apart. I'm not gonna film it for you guys because it's kind of boring. Um, but then afterwards, we're gonna pull him out of the water. And again, we're gonna feed him, I'm trying something new today with him. All right, so the cage is nice and clean now. Like I said, I took a section of paper off. Uh, as time goes by, I'll take another little section um, until I feel comfortable taking all the paper off his cage. But again, don't really want him smashing his face up too much. So, now that the cage is nice and clean, he's got nice new mulch, both his hides are under there, um, we're gonna pull them out and stick them back in. All right guys, so let's see how he's doing. Oh, there he is. Take a nice little warm bath. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull him out now. Close his glass up a little bit. The snake that I have defrosting for him should be completely done by now. Hopefully he got a nice little drink of water.
That's your tail, buddy. That's still your tail. This king is awesome. So he's good. He's pushing. So he's a little bit bigger than I thought. I want to say he's probably pushing about eight feet. He's a good size. Let's go ahead and throw him back in there because we still need to feed him. Don't worry about my shoes. You, my shoes are okay. My shoes are no bother to you. Come on, buddy. In your cage. Look at that. Yes. In you go. Boom. So yeah, he's about an eight foot snake. A little bit bigger than I thought. But happy that he's actually about to go and shed. I'm a little worried about the meal I'm about to give him. He might not take it just for that reason, but I'm hoping he still does because he's not eating as much as he normally probably would in the wild. So it's been, I wanna say roughly about three weeks, maybe two weeks since his last meal. So that's not too, too bad actually. All right guys, so I got the infamous Red Bull. If you've been a long time subscriber, you probably do love this bowl. Uh, but so right here, like I said, I have the mangrove snake. You're just all types of hungry right now. Um, so what I did to get my baby King Cobra um, to rats so fast is he was eating lizards. Uh, he started with house geckos, then I got him to brown anoles because uh, they're by the abundance here in South Florida. And then I used the blood from pinkies, transferred it to the lizards, then vice versa, yada, yada, yada. But I finally got him eating the pinkies, frozen thawed pinkies. So with that, I'm gonna try and do roughly the same thing um, with this guy. I'm actually gonna be taking a pinky. Oh, no, don't bite each other. You're both dead, you're not supposed to bite each other. So I gotta line it up right, because the teeth on this guy. But, so yeah, I'm gonna be taking a pinky, kind of shoving it in his mouth there. I know it looks very weird, but I'm hoping the king will eat it. Oh, here, you want a good shot of that? How's that? Is that, a, is that a good shot? Does that work for you? Yeah? Okay. All right, so, um, I kind of want to shove this thing down his throat, but I'm not going to. Um, but what I am going to do, few discretion is advised, you might see blood. Let me get rid of this. Boom. Take some of this blood, smear it, and a little bit of parts of the snake. Now I'm doing this so the snake starts to smell like rat guts. So this is what I did in order to get the baby king cobra, the Malaysian king cobra, to start eating uh, pinkies by themselves. So my handy dandy tongs. All right, where's he at? Oh, you're, you're, you're still right there, aren't you? Oh, you're right there. Hi. Okay, don't smash your face. I removed the paper so you wouldn't smash your face. Okay. So this is either gonna go one of two ways. One, he shoots out of the cage and attacks the camera girl, hoping it doesn't go that way. Uh, and two, he bites the snake. Three, he doesn't bite the snake, doesn't take it because he's in shed or just doesn't want it. So I'm gonna go with, hopefully it's number two and he takes the snake. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up a little bit. Go ahead and grab this snake here. Oh. So he seems like he's interested. Maybe not, maybe not. So being that this snake is uh, a rear fanged venomous snake, uh, the kings will actually learn to go from their head because yes, they do have um, you know, a very bad bite king cobras. They know to go for the snake's head because they don't have a very strong antibody to venoms of other snakes and they do eat venomous snakes. So they target the head so they don't get bit occasionally. It does happen, but not often. Oh, you might not want this. All right, well, that's a little disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. I am gonna leave it in there for a little bit. 
hope and pray that he does maybe go after it. Now, it could be the fact that I do have the rat blood on there, or it could be the fact that I just took him out and soaked him and all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna leave it in there for, with him for a little bit and hope he eats it. So, you guys have already seen a video of him eating, I'm sure, on my channel. I just did one like three weeks ago. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something new because I know a lot of people have asked me about uh, the true Cobras with the King Cobras and why they're not true King Cobras. Again, has to do with the genus. Naga is the normal uh, Cobra family, I should say. But that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already. Smash that like button if you haven't already. And thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Like always, bye! Thank you.